Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 41. All right, the previous episode, um, we were in the middle of a fight. The first fight between, uh, not first fight, sorry, the, the fight between Team Ren and um, the Gandharas Vidya Raja team. And we saw how they fight, how they have like, you know, like different techniques, which seems pretty, uh, what can I say? uh pretty like you know ex extremely strong like one of them has mana nullification and like you know a few other techniques as well and uh obviously in the beginning it was looking as if like yeah team ren is going to lose but uh by the end of it we actually see how uh they kind of got a last minute trainings and tips from pascal abba and how like you know like they were able to uh, increase their potential and their strength and uh like you know like uh, ren defeats the first guy um i don't remember his name but he defeats him uh and uh then ren gets attacked from behind by the red-haired guy and you know like and then like you know horo horo comes in and uh oh no sorry then uh, chocolate comes in and then like by the end of it we actually see that um horo horo like there's another thing that he has like you know he, he's he's been keeping it a secret as far as i could gather is that uh there is a big reason why he like you know why he wants to become the shaman king that the whole thing about the like you know making the field the butter bear that was that is one of his dreams i think but there's some other reason as well which he has not told anyone and he has not accepted like you know his name up until now um from uh house like you know like from what house said like you know like gave us information his his name actually means uh like you know like uh it comes from two usui i forgot the whole thing but it actually means like hot and cold like, uh, like you know like it's like a mixture of two and as soon as he like you know accepted his name uh his power grow grew immensely and he just defeated all of them at that moment and uh, damn they're like they're waves above strength uh you know like for, if you compare them with your steam now but yo is like okay we need to actually train and you know get uh some extra powers before our matches uh we don't know like you know otherwise we won't be able to defeat these people because they like you know your team also have to uh, face a ren's team as well so that's another thing <laughs> so yeah that was uh what was happening and there was that that whole thing with uh sati uh also telling how she was able to find this like you know uh, kids and she can now like you know uh uh, what can i say like you know give like you know the the uh like, you know the responsibility of the world or something you know uh responsibility of peace to these kids to these five kids something like that i don't remember what that means but we'll i'm sure they'll let us know uh, eventually so yeah all that stuff happened so uh the next match is uh hanagumi versus some other team i don't remember who it is but yeah let's see what happens so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number 41 of shaman king so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go oh okay Oh wait, Opacho knows that means. Is that why she's crying? The M. What? What happened? Wait, what happened? Wait, what's happening? What? I don't understand. Did something happen? Like, I feel like uh, Horo Horo is also confused. He's like, what's happening? Alright. Choco Wait, Chocolate said everything to Anna? That means, I, I don't know. 
Okay, anyways, let's watch. I'm sure they'll let us know. But, like, like, what even happened that they're going to have, like, a, like, you know, falling out? Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this thing. Okay, yeah. This is just a big question. You know, I don't think he is still... Okay, he doesn't know. Hmm. But he changed in midway, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but... But I'm not sure if that's really just... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, these are the other team? Oh wow. Damn, that easily. Just kill it, kill it. Did they like kill him or something? I think so, my god. Ah. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, these two guys, I remember them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh great, they're gonna get killed now. And you think he doesn't realize that? Wait, what is this? Oh, his mom. Probably someone from his previous life. 
her, his mom because his grandmom is still alive. Oh my god! Wait, what happened? Who? Oh damn. Oh no. Yeah, obviously he realized that he is targeting him. Great. What else did they expect? Like, oh my god. <sighs> oh damn. Oh. Yeah, he probably knows about everyone. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo, come on, Marco. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I guess that... That works. Oh, are they training? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, he... He was able to... Upgraded Oversoul. Wait, what? Oh, that. Oh, Elisa. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Is this Sati? I think so. That's Sati. Uh, yeah. Oh damn. Yeah. Oh, he she put on her. There you go. <laughs> okay, all the other ones. Damn, that guy's tall and big. Hmm. This guy looks like some kind of salary man or something. <laughs> you know, with the hair and <laughs> Oh, is that her? Okay, that's her spirit. Um five people. Yeah, I think you is obviously included in that. Oh, maybe like chocolate. He needs to go, and then he's, she's going to bring her back or him back or something. I don't know. Oh, that's why die. I realized what 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 she meant. You need to die to get you know like uh, your Furioku to increase, almost die. And I think that's what she's trying to tell. That's why she said you need to die before. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Came to a conclusion. Hmm. 
Oh wait, maybe he has some other plan. Wait, are they going to nuke him or something? Oh no, no. Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay. Oh, kind of. Okay. Oh boy. So that was his plan, okay, makes sense. Oh boy, yeah, this, this whole place is going out. Ugh. X2, okay, these are the X2s. Who is this Anahol Pukki? One of house people, I think. Whoa, what the? Oh my god. What the happened? What the hell happened? Wait, he's from Niles? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, nobody cares. Anahol. That's way confusing. Oh no. Yeah, why is she not? Oh no, is she unable to? Oh boy, yeah. Oh my god. Wait, he's still alive from that? Oh, I probably how saved him. Oh, yeah, that he was crying. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they... Oh, my God. They saw the... Yeah, okay. So... He... So he, he, he needs to almost die. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, sh sh either she's going to bring her back or Yos himself is going to come. Why is she saying it's in hell? Like. It's... Okay, makes sense. But why hell? I don't understand this part. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Yeah, he came here. Wait, was he also selected to be one of the warriors?
Iya. Hmm. Oh, hello there. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it's the same same guy. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, that one. Wait, but oh yeah, maybe maybe he's yeah. Okay, there he is. <laughs> oh, makes sense. Okay. Maybe even stronger than that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? Ah, uh, okay, okay. That's what he does now. <laughs> Mama, okay. <laughs> Damn, his personality went uh... Full change. First gateway. Revive. Okay. <laughs> Mom. Yeah, okay. Oh. So are these like Yeah, okay, there you go. I was just trying to ask that. Like is this like you know some kind of a Okay. Wait, that's not his voice. Yeah. Asakura Yoken. Where have I heard that name? The evil Okay. Oh, okay. So he's Matamunes. Okay, makes sense. <clears throat> hmm. This what? Hmm. Okay. Um Let's try it out then. Oh yeah, true. What? My god, what the hell? <coughs> Yo!
Oh my god, this guy's like complete. Had it in your hand when you done. Ah. Oh. No. If we can really assess anyone with an arm. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like the basic thing of like you know, being a shaman like believe in yourself and your determination yeah okay there you go oh my god <laughs> yeah yeah, he's in denial. He's like... Oh. <clears throat> oh boy. All right. Here we go. This is new oversouls. Piakko. White Swan. Okay. That that's a very um what can I say sleek looking oversoul, you know? <laughs> uh, that looks cool. Okay, number okay, first thing I need to do is I need to check out um Yoken's I think that was his no, what was his name? Uh as, no not Yoken. What was his name? Asakura Yoken. Yeah, Asakura Yoken. Okay, that was his name. Asakura Yoken. I need to uh we're gonna check out his voice actor because I do realize his voice actor is uh Sasaki Kojiro from the Fate series, but I don't uh, I don't remember any other I've I've heard his voice so much. Oh and he's also um um uh, what was his name? I'm from Gintama. Ah. Uh, oh my god, I forgot. Just a sec, I'll. I'll... Okay, his, uh, the voice actor name is Shin Ichiro Miki. Um, let me see. Is he. Yep, Assassin from Fate Stay Night, that is Sasaki Kojiro. And from Gintama, I'm pretty sure he is. Wait, am I wrong? Yeah, I was right. I was talking about. I, I was unable to like you know real remember his name at all. Um, Sakamoto Tatsuma from Gintama or Sakamoto Ryoma from like you know the original Shinsengumi. Um, same voice actor, Sakamoto Tatsuma, and um, you know like uh this guy from uh, f uh from Fate, Sasaki Kojiro. Uh, same voice actor, Miki Shinjiro, and uh, Asakura Yoken is also uh, voice acted by the same person. Okay, so he did a lot of other as well. Um, <coughs> actors as well. Kisuke, oh yeah, Kisuke Urahara from Bleach. I remember now. Yep, okay, okay. Roy Mustang from Full Metal. Alright. Yep, I, I, I remember now. Okay, I was like, I have heard his voice so much that I know. Like, he's, his, his voice is such a unique voice that you realize that, yeah, this is that person. And I wasn't able to properly pinpoint who he was, but now I, I realize. All right. <laughs> Anyways. <coughs> okay, this episode here. Um, <coughs> first of all, a very weird thing happens in the beginning. Is that when uh, Horohoro's team is coming back, Anna like, you know, acts pretty hostile towards Horohoro. Like... And then he she says that uh, like you know like uh, Chocolat told me everything. Why don't you ask him? Or something like that. She said, yeah. And Horohoro is confused. Chocolat is looking pretty grim. 
and like the the thing that actually like you know is confusing me here is Horhor also looks very confused here. Like he, it seems as if he also doesn't realize what is happening. Like <coughs> Anna says something about how uh, they might have a falling out before the matches, and Horhor is unable to realize what is happening, even though the whole thing is supposed to be something concerning him but he doesn't realize that i also don't understand what anna actually was talking about but i'm sure that it'll they'll let us know and uh probably you know a few episodes after this because for now like you know yo is currently in engaged in, in the battle in hell so after that maybe something will happen <coughs> okay um that was that then the next part we see um maiden uh, marco like you know all of them like coming back from uh you know in a car and here's where in, uh maiden talks about how like you know like how she killed the nile team yeah and how that was wrong for her to do and you know all that stuff and here again the whole thing comes back you know you get what you do you get back what you do and <coughs> they get attacked by <coughs> what was his name okay that happens after this i'll talk about it later but yeah like that that whole thing of like you know what you do you're going to get that back that basically happens here again and it's like a cycle you know <laughs> like can understand until someone stops that this is going to continue but yeah okay let's talk about the next scene the next scene <coughs> we come is okay where is it all right the next scene we see uh, hanagumi already defeating the other team i thought they were going to show us that but i guess <laughs> these characters were probably mob characters that we didn't need to know anything about and they didn't even show us the matches <coughs> and uh, yeah right one thing i'm kind of noticing now kind of i noticed it suddenly um the the blue haired girl from hanagumi like obviously their attire is very different in this um you know in this match uh, they have some new gears i think and one thing i'm noticing now is the blue haired girl she has that those things you know those lego blocks or whatever uh which we saw uh brocken had i think that was his name <coughs> in the pre uh, in one of the previous episode brocken had those didn't he why does she have them with her is that somehow connected with it i don't know I've, I, i'm noticing it now she has those things with her or maybe that's just her design not her <coughs> clothing design who knows but yeah i don't know if that's somehow connected or not but we'll see okay that was that <coughs> then we see the x2 um with with the three of them them actually working independently because they want to defeat how and they <coughs> realize that um, uh what's his name uh, marco marco won't be doing anything after this <coughs> so they take everything in their hands and i was wondering i was like are they really that like you know out of their mind that they they came alone to fight how when they know how strong how is you know like why did they come here you know like they <coughs> they should know that they won't be able to defeat how like they just came here to like you know like uh, just like you know jump into danger and like what like end their lives is that the, what they came here to do are they that desperate <coughs> <coughs> then i realized like you know his actual uh, goal was he knew that he won't be able to defeat how his actual goal was to do that thing the thing from the satellite you know that the whole nuke or whatever he dropped in that place and uh, that's what he tried to do you know like and I, I guess he probably needed to be in close proximity to how to do that thing and that's why he came here uh knowing that yeah i won't be able to survive but at least i'll be able to take how with me mm, so that was what he was planning anyways okay here um <clears throat> here how starts talking about horo horo first you know he says wait a minute where is it <coughs> all right <coughs> here it is he's descended from a wolf stories like that 
and then there's like a little um, recollection scene or flashback scene okay are found all over the world there's like um, something cooking there's a girl or a, a lady I can see long hair long blonde hair I don't know why but she reminds me so much of Anna probably her hair and she's like you know holding someone's hand i guess that person is probably how one of his other lives i'm guessing you know the the person who the girl the lady is holding hands with yeah she she the the, the girl reminds me of so much of anna like they don't show her face but uh, like you know her facial structure and the hair as well i don't know maybe it's just me <clears throat> but and, but I wouldn't you know what I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be like you know I don't know like Anna's previous life or something because uh, we did see how kind of like you know um, <clears throat> like you know interacting with Anna and like you know saying like oh you're like the what the second person was slapping or something like that or the first person I don't remember but all that stuff you know like it wouldn't surprise me if this like you know this was like Anna's previous life or something I don't know <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> <coughs> but anyways um he's crying and he says mother like obviously that that probably like you know gives us a, one of the biggest hints that yeah that was his mom and that the person who like you know the the lady was holding hands with was probably how's previous life one of his previous life now i do wonder at this moment he's crying um <clears throat> i think he doesn't realize that someone is actually like you know targeting him because after that we see how he gets mad and he says that you saw something that you shouldn't have seen that means that at this moment he had no idea that anyone was actually like you know keeping an eye on them and probably after this incident he realized that yeah someone's like you know watching me and uh, you know like at this part he cries the other guy who's like you know watching from the scope he kind of gets rattled he's like what how's crying and you know i guess this like you know this little moment of excitement probably gave away his position like like i'm i'm pretty sure like they were like you know like doing something very like you know like probably suppressing their aura or whatever very much uh keeping very calm to actually sneak in here and try to target how so seeing this probably rattled him and his uh, suppression power whatever he's doing to suppress his aura probably disappeared for a moment that's i think this is when how realizes oh someone's watching me and that's when he realizes that yeah he saw me cry and he he just killed him at that moment <coughs> yeah and then he dies so yeah that's probably what happened because he did he had i probably i think he probably had no idea like people are watching him at that moment otherwise he wouldn't cry like that if he knew that someone's watching him <coughs> but anyways <coughs> yeah and that was that and then how kills the other person as well comes in front of the other guy mm, john dingbat ah okay john dingbat yeah he comes in front of him or behind him <laughs> and <coughs> he talks about uh, like you know like how like you know war and like you know conflict there's always it it somehow is like you know they like he has lived a lot of lives and he has always found that everywhere and <clears throat> how that that's like one of the and he realized that wherever there are humans they will always engage in conflict all the time there's there's no end to this and he was talking about this and and yeah all that stuff okay <clears throat> and okay the next scene uh oh then there was a that little scene with uh tamao talking about jun's dress and everything and Marco kind of, <laughs> as always, you know, he was like, oh, you're a peasant, you wouldn't, you know, <laughs> make Tamao cry. And then he was like, ah, fine, maybe I can make an exception to it. As always, his sundre, <laughs> sundreistic tendencies. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that was that. And then, um, okay, here we see um, Yo and, the, the, you know, his teammates, um, Ryu and... Um, uh, Faust, 
like you know training and checking out like the no new oversoul which which uh, you like you know made and sati comes in now sati here says that you need to die okay we we do see all the other characters as well her i think her bodyguards are you know like just keeping an eye on her there are quite a few of them with very interesting features uh <coughs> Like, I, th I think like okay this is like this one guy who looks like he really looks like Hattori from Hunter x Hunter you know Hattori the ninja from Hunter x Hunter <laughs> and then there's this other hu huge guy who's like you know face is um, uh, covered there's this girl who is wearing a different type of a costume the upper top is like green <clears throat> and then there's a, another girl with glasses there's this little short man you know and then there's this other girl with little horns or are those accessories i don't know and like a fluffy head <laughs> and then there's this salary man <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me of those salarymen. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, with his hair and everything, like that suit and all. Oh boy. Anyways. And. Yeah. Sati comes here. Sati says that you need to die to become one of the f five chosen ones or something. Five warriors. Five warriors. <coughs> and this is. Uh, at the beginning, I wasn't able to understand what she's trying to say. And then I realized that, okay, she's actually talking about how you need to die, you know, to get the massive boost of Furyoku. I thought it was that. And then she says, like, yeah, you need to go to hell first and then come back. And, you know, like, there's not enough time. At first she was like, okay, we're going to fight. But then she saw, sees the, the, the explosion and she just you know, kind of, I guess, kills Yo at that moment. <clears throat> All right. Anyways, okay, that was that. Um, <clears throat> and then, then is when um, you know the, I think his name was what was his name, John or something. I forgot. Anyways, I just I just read his name and I forgot. My God, my memory. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, he <clears throat> he shoots that place from the satellite, uh, like, you know, like spirit using his satellite spirit, and yeah, that whole place goes. Like, you know, just blasts off. Like, they're kind of, like, you know, shifting from one scene to another. And then we like, go to another scene, the, the scene with Marco, where Anahol, I think that was his name, he, like, I don't know what he did. He just, just did something to Marco. He's, like, you know, like, a gaping hole in his chest. I hope he's fine. I don't think he's dead. Like, that, that would be very anticlimactic if she, he ends up, up dead like that. Just like that. I'm pretty sure he's fine, hopefully. Or maybe he's just almost dying or something and he can be brought back. I don't know. But yeah. <clears throat> Lazerk is trying to like you know control the situation. He asks Maiden to do something. But Maiden is crying. Maiden is like, I cannot. Now here's one thing. I don't understand here. <clears throat> she says, I'm sorry. <clears throat> is it that she is unable to use her... Um, yeah, use her power, use Shamash, or she she is unable to, because she she thinks that you know like like engaging in this battle will be something that is, uh, what do you call it, against justice. Is that what what actually is stopping her, or is she really unable to do it? This is one thing that I don't understand here, because she was you know in a pre a few minutes ago she was just talking about how. It is wrong, you know, like to just like, you know, like how she killed the, the Nile team like that. And maybe he's she's hesitating. And because of that hesitation, I think it's probably that like, you know, because Oversoul and all of those, like, you know, things are actually something which comes from your inside. If your inside is rattled, you won't be able to do anything. I think that's probably what happened here. Maybe she's rattled so much that he isn't she isn't able to bring out Shamash. Or, or I don't know, maybe it's something else. Just my guess, you know. But something is stopping her from, from doing something. And here's where Lysak realizes that, yeah, you get what you, like, you know, do. Again, like, you know, the whole cycle of ha hatred. Uh, whatever you do is going to come back again. And someone's going to, like, you know, like, become the victim. And that victim is again going to 
pick up the weapon to do the same thing to the people who did it to them and you know it's going to be a cycle and that's going to continue over and over again <clears throat> okay um then like you know how we saw see how being pretty mad um he <clears throat> he just you know like he, he was not happy about that whole thing that this, uh, like you know someone saw him crying and he was like yeah you like i would have taken your soul but now yeah your soul's go you soul soul's gotta go and, and the explosion happens <clears throat> um uh sati sees that and sati's like yep no time you know we don't have enough time no more battles the battle is like you know dismissed i'm just going to kill you and he just kills you at that moment or you know makes him go to hell and <clears throat> sati like you know explains to ryu and falls that yeah he you know yo needs to actually go and face some opponents in hell and come back just like how chocolate did and wait so was chocolate um selected to be one of the warriors is that what happened with him as well i don't know maybe who knows anyways um so yeah <clears throat> i'm sure we'll get to know but yeah here um yo is yo comes to hell now one thing i do wonder why hell like, you know, is there like some significance of this being hell i don't oh uh, but she like you know like um they do explain like uh you know like um yo does explain that she he got to know from chocolat like hell is one of the communes of the grand spirit and which is kind of interesting to think about you know like as they say like you know the different communes within the grand spirit and um so hell is also one of it like damn interesting um i love i love these type of like you know these type of things and these like, you know things that people actually don't know anything about you know but then there's like you know like from i don't i'm i'm, I'm not sure maybe this like you know this this whole thing of hell being actually a part of like a grand like, you know thing maybe this is something and i don't know but it's kind of interesting knowing all of these things you know like it's very interesting but anyways um okay uh, we meet a, uh, a familiar face here um the 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 demon the demon from anna like you know the the one who calls, calls anna mama my god uh, with that face and that <laughs> appearance like calling anna mama okay <laughs> <laughs> but yeah okay and we also see mata mune is here as well and uh, the demon talks about how sati actually saved him and that's why he is actually helping out sati as well um <clears throat> and she he says that sati and all the other god level like you know spirit users they they have actually been to hell and come back and since they are able to come back that's why they are so strong and yo also needs to do that So okay and that makes sense and uh, <clears throat> yeah he we get in and we first we see the mask and that's why like you know seeing the mask yo first yo was like oh this is mickey hisa and i was also like yeah this is mickey hisa but then when he starts talking i'm like wait a minute mickey hisa never had this voice like who is this guy this is not mickey hisa this is not mickey hisa's voice <laughs> because as i said like you know like his voice actor is his voice actor has a very particular voice a very unique voice uh what was his name miki shinichiro the voice actor of um uh, asakura uh, yoken so i like you know like i i definitely would have realized if it it was miki hisa's voice it was not miki hisa's voice so that's when i also realized that yeah this is probably someone else and they kind of show us what it is actually is uh the mask breaks off and we see this is um um asakura yoken okay um so he is the person who fought how 500 years ago defeated him using with masa masamune and i was i was just talking about this you know like in, in that episode in also that also is an episode Uh, where we get that flashback i was just talking about i was like so wait a minute like who was the person who actually you know like was how's master when he fought and defeated uh you know how 500 years ago and here we go we get our answer here this this person this one and um, yeah so 
like he he talks in a like a weird way he's like he's talking about how uh okay where is it who defeated the evil how when he reincarnated as a patch in his shaman fight come mata mune okay yeah yo yo also talks about this yo says that he said this shaman fight but that was 500 years ago wait a minute so is he like in a oh i think he's probably he said something about how he he needs to go back and he i like you know to the real world and he can only do that if he defeats the opponents here like i wonder what they told him like, did they like tell him that yeah you need to defeat opponents here and if you're able to you know defeat this many opponents you'll be able to go back to the real world is that what it is i don't know but yeah um okay um so I, I think that's why he was saying that yeah this shaman fight like for him like the shaman fight after the shaman fight ended maybe I, I i don't know like how he died but he probably died after that and that's why he like you know he's talking about like this shaman fight he doesn't realize that 500 years have passed after this because he's in hell fighting you know and uh, i wonder why he's in this position you know like this is this seems like a very uh what can i say very um cruel way to like you know live like he's just here like fighting i guess this is hell but why did he get stuck in this manner you know like it's like he he has to keep fighting and fighting and fighting just just with that faint glimmer of hope that yeah maybe i'll be able to go back like what what type of thing did he even do that he needs to go through this amount of you know i, I guess this this is pain isn't it like this is this is probably suffering that he's going through and it's just like you know it's like a mindless person just going around ah who do i need to fight next okay another thing i saw here they talked about layers wait a minute where is that part okay killers as oh okay i need to i i forgot this part i need to read this part again what uh the demon says killers are sent here oh no wait a minute let me just go back a little bit okay um okay the demon opens the door and uh, okay yo says this is okay killers are sent here to kill each other over and over again okay these are the this is the first gameplay a uh, gateway killers okay so asakura yoken is a, i guess he is a killer because i think if you think about it like that then like everybody is a killer then i guess everyone who's fighting anyways okay yeah so he says that yeah this is the first gateway <clears throat> reviving hell your first foe awaits you ahead now i don't know i feel like i've heard this thing about you know like the like hell like this layers of hell like six or seven layers i don't remember i think seven layers something is is that what it is like like in the reviving hell let me check reviving hell is that actually a thing okay there you go um oh yeah nine 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 of them i remember okay yeah nine circles of hell i remember from dante's inferno uh you know the the nine um layers of hell okay um is, is this like similar to that okay the first one is limbo the second one lust the third one gluttony the fourth one greed oh these are the seven deadly sins but why is it nine Fifth is anger. Sixth is heresy. Oh, this is a new one. Seventh is violence. I think this is also an, no. Uh, eighth is fraud. Ninth is treachery. Okay. Ah, and I don't think this is related to that. Yeah, this is something probably different. Like he's, he says, like this is called the live uh, the the reviving hell. Oh, this is definitely something different. I was thinking, like, are, are they, like, talking to that, that nine, like, you know, layers of hell? Is that what they're trying to, like, you know, show us here? But I, it's probably not, because this thing is probably something different. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if, if like, you know, if this is actually, like, the nine layers of hell or something. But, yeah, anyways. um, So, yeah, we come here, and, yeah, as I said, like, you know, like, we see the Asakura Yoken, and he uh, talks about how like the shaman king probably it, for him it's like the shaman king probably happened a few days ago or something he is actually talking about it like that and he's like you know keeping like you know continuing just like the demon said continuing to fight you know like all the different opponents as long as he stays here um okay so here's where yo realizes what he's supposed to do here even though he doesn't have his um the intimidary and the i i, I don't what was the name of that 
Futsushi no Mitama? Something like that? Futsu, just a second. Futsu no Mitama. Yeah, Futsu no Mitama. Um, he talks about that, that if, even if he doesn't have that, if he, if he you know, if, if his inner uh, heart th thinks that, yeah, I have it, he's going to get it. And just like how shaman, like, you know, and spirits work, determination is everything here. You need to believe first. Everything can be done. And that's how he brings that out. And he shows us his new oversoul, uh, which is called um, Byakko. Okay. Okay. Another thing here, Matamune says, which is quite interesting. He says, uh, with the son, Elder son, Senji Rakyatsu, your son was able to reach how, who lived thousand years ago. Okay. Now he must become as he was five hundred years ago. He has to catch up. Okay, as expected from your son. Okay, so yeah, that's what he's saying. So he needs to catch up with Yoken now. You know, like, uh, okay, makes sense. And uh, yeah, we're probably going to see the fight in the next episode. Yeah. This kind of went in a different direction. I'm liking this, you know, like the way it kind of... I thought it was going to be the same old, like, you know, go back to the tournament fight, come back again. And, but no, we, we're get, kind of getting a, a new kind of a thing. I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this new development. This is kind of interesting. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode. So that's it. That was this episode. This was episode number 41 of um, Shaman King. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Shaman King. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.